1997 Vauxhall Amiga. This is the 2.5 litre petrol model. It's a GLS and it's trim. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about service history, where it's been, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. This thing's lovely and straight. If you look down the driver's side, you can see nice and straight all the way down, no ripples or anything like that. Coming down this front driver's wing, Again, there's nothing at all to report. Lovely and clean. The arch is solid all the way around. It's got four matching um, alloy wheels with the center caps. Um, and I believe the key for those is in the boot. It's also got four matching tires as far as I'm aware as well. So we've got a Dunlop on the front. We'll check them as we go around. Coming down this driver's side, there's not really any marks at all to report. All the plastics lovely and clean, they're not dried out or cracked or covered in back to black or anything like that. It's a pillar, there's not a mark at all on there. All the glass on this side, lovely and clear. We've got a very light bit of scratching on the handle if we're going to be super picky about it. Um, get some of that water off there, it's a bit wet here today. On the bottom of the door, lovely and clean. Same for the rear passenger door. It's going to make for quite a boring video this, I don't really have anything to whinge about. Um, but it does make for a very clean car. Got a little scuff just here. See if you can see that past the water. We haven't done a very good job of drying that, I apologize. But yeah, it's just a tiny little scuff there. I'd be amazed if that didn't polish out. And this rear arch, lovely and solid all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. Again, the center caps are still there. Come around on the back, the bumper corner is lovely and straight. There's no scuffs on that side or on the passenger side. And again, the plastics, lovely and dark. They're not, not overly shiny and they're not covered in any horrible product they're just nice clean dry plastics correct badging so you've got your Vauxhall on the left Amiga 2.5 v6 on the right both tail lights or both sets of tail lights are lovely and clear and bright no sign of any moisture or anything lovely color as well this if you get it, get it in the light lovely dark green but it's really really nice got a slight mark in the lacquer from a bit of bird poo or something just here which you can see there but other than that no marks at all deck lid's lovely and straight again if we look up the passenger side nice and straight it's not full of filler or anything like that i don't think it's had any bad paint jobs in its life lovely and clean all the way around that arch another good wheel and tire again matching dunlop and if we come up to on the, on the roof it's a massive roof on this thing and you would be able to see so you can see just how lovely and straight it is if we're going to be really picky the tiny little mark just there but you can see just how straight it is Seeing more of the sky than anything else, so obviously a good sign. All the windows on this side, nice and clear. They've all got the correct stamping in them. Rear passenger door's got a tiny little scratch just here. But like I say, it's quite difficult to find any sort of marks or scratches. The body works lovely and clean. It's obviously been really well looked after. I've got a very faint hairline scratch in the wing there on the, on the passenger side. Arch on this side, lovely and solid. Another matching wheel and Dunlop tyre. Round up the front, and I'm not going to go on about the plastics again because you'll be bored by now, but they are so lovely and clean. Both headlights, lovely and bright. There's no uh, sign of any moisture or anything in them. Lower half of the bumper, nice and tidy. It's not been rammed up any kerbs or anything like that. Bonnet, again, same as the roof, really nice and straight. Got a tiny little mark just here um, on the passenger side, but, and a couple of tiny stone chips. I mean, there's about five. For a car that's designed to be hammering up and down the motorway, that's really unusual. They're normally sort of littered with, with, with stone chips on the front. But part of the reason why it's so clean is it's done 68,000 miles. I have seen ones on this sort of mileage before that have been abused, and you can tell straight away this is not one of those cars. Driver's side door card, lovely and clean. Electric mirrors. Driver's seat again, nice and tidy. You've got a little bit of a crease just here, um, but actually... And a tiny little bit of sort of worn on the bolster from the seatbelt. But there's no sign of any dirt. The top half's lovely and clean on the lighter section. Lower section is nice and tidy. Good steam clean would actually get rid of that quite easily. Carpet set's lovely and clean. It's not ingrained with any dirt. There's no funny smells or anything in here. The headlining is excellent. There's no sagging or anything in that. Steering wheel, nice and straight and tidy. Same goes for the gear lever, handbrake, all that sort of stuff. All the switch gears, nice and bright, nice and clean. Nice and clean in the back as well. The bench on the rear is lovely and tidy all the way across. Backs of the seats are like brand new. They've never been sort of kicked or scuffed or anything like that. Same with the carpet set in here. 
Again, there's nothing to whinge about. It's, like I say, a boring video, but it makes for a nice car. Underside of the boot lid, lovely and clean. Now, these, these light grey carpets normally get covered in stains, but as you can see, that one's really, really good. It's still got all of its correct bits in there. We've got some toolkit and things in the back. Lift this up and have a look. Again, under there. There's no sign of any trapped moisture, all nice and clean. No sign of any corrosion coming through. It's even still got the strap on the boot lid. Normally they've snapped by now. And then passenger side rear, same sort of story. The backs of the seats are lovely. Even this gray bit on the corner here, which is normally sort of kicked to death, is really, really good. All the plastics on the inside are as good as the outside. Really, really tidy car. And then front passenger side, same story as the other side, lovely and clean all the way down. Dash top and everything's good. Got the correct original stereo in there. It's not been messed with at all. I'll double check when we started but from, from memory. I don't think even there's any pixels missing from the trip computer, which again is unusual. We'll pull that bonnet. You'll have to excuse the dodgy camera work for a second. There you go, 2.5 litre V6, lovely smooth engine. Again, all the plastics in here, lovely and clean. It's obviously been well cared for. There's not a speck of dirt in here. It's driven to us. I've just driven it here. Gearbox is nice and smooth, engine's lovely and smooth. Under the side of the bonnet's nice. There's no sort of sign of any corrosion coming through or anything like that. It's fair to say there's not a speck of rust anywhere that I can see. We'll, uh, we'll get it started. It even comes with a Vauxhall wheel keyring. Well, how about that? As you can hear, lovely and smooth. No sign of any rattles or anything like that. Go around the back. No steam or smoke or anything pouring out. And then we'll have a look in here. So no warning light at all. Nice clear dash. And there's no pixels at all missing from that, which is pretty unusual. It does have aircon as well, I've just noticed. That's worth pointing it out. So there you go. 2.5 litre Vauxhall Amiga. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.